Hi yardeners, it's Destry. Welcome back to my yard. Um, I'm actually here in my front yard today getting ready to do just a quick plant up project of a big terracotta pot. I have some beautiful new plants, so stick around and I'll show you what I'm working on today. Okay, so here is the pot in question. You can see it's a really big terracotta pot that's right here in my front walkway. Um, I usually stick my little, you know, decorative flag in there and it is July. So this is kind of the decor I had for this month. It had a bunch of pansies in here and they were just really done. They were all, um, you know, kind of dying with the summer heat. So over here are some new things that I picked up. So let me take you through the plants and then we'll go ahead and get this planter potted up with a new color scheme and some fresh plants. So I went to my favorite nursery the other day, one of my favorites, and they have a really great selection of Proven Winners plants. So I was able to grab a couple things. Let me show you where I started. So I have been coveting this Supertunia persimmon. So let me show you the tag and the beautiful blooms from Proven Winners. It is beautiful, like it has this peach, um, kind of pink with yellow in the center of these uh, super tunias. So I saw these and I, I just had to go there. So I started with these as kind of my base color scheme. And then to kind of pull out some of the um, orange of, of this, kind of the, that, again, the warm colors, I went ahead, this one is a Proven win, win, Winners <laughs> Luscious Marmalade. Um, and it is a lantana and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, it will take the summer heat really, really well. So I was kind of playing on that. If you can kind of see, it's not quite orange, but still like that warm color scheme. So I grabbed one of those. And then just for accent around the planner, I went ahead and grabbed a Proven Winners. This is the Goldilocks. Um, and it's basically a Creeping Jenny is the, is the common name for it. Um, but this is the tag for this one. It is a perennial. So that's gonna be kind of nice. I can leave it in this pot and it potentially will come back next season for me. So I got two of those to sort of be my spiller. So when you're working on a potted arrangement, if you um, are new to planter, you know, planting things up, you wanna go for your thriller, your filler and your spiller. So that was gonna be my spiller that will kind of spill over the top of the pot. This one is my thriller. So this is a hummingbird's lunch, it's called, and it says it attracts hummingbirds. So here it is. Um, this is a cup Cupveria hybrid. And the cool thing about this one, you guys, it has these long tubular flowers, which I do know that hummingbirds love. It's got a lot of height to it. It's got my same color scheme, sort of the peaches, pinky yellows, almost orange. And when I was at the garden center, I actually sat there and watched the hummingbirds feed from this. So hummingbirds lunch indeed. Um, that was a great sales uh, tactic. <laughs> I was like watching the hummingbirds. I'm like, okay, I have to get one of those. I have a lot of hummingbirds in my backyard. So it'd be fun to bring them into my front yard a little bit. So I've got my, my thriller, which is this one. I've got my spiller. And then my fillers are gonna be the supertunias and the lantana. So I'm really excited about how this is gonna turn out. I'm gonna get busy and then I'll show you how it turns out in the end. So let's do it.
Okay, so here we have the finished planter. I know it's kind of hard to see with this lighting right now, but um, I did go ahead and angle some of the spillers. Um, the super tunias will eventually spill over too. Um, I put the lantana in the center there, and then I've got the hummingbird lunch in the back to provide some height. So I'm gonna get this all watered in. I love that I went with sort of a different color scheme than I usually do. I, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I gravitate more towards like purples. And um, this one I really went with kind of like this pink and orange kind of feel. So I love the way it turned out. Tell me in the comments what you think. I'm gonna go ahead and show you, just give you a quick update on some of the other plants here in my front entryway. So I will link a video down below where I did like a front entryway tour. That was like early in the spring. So I know that this is gonna look a lot different. Check out the coleus. Um, my super tunias are absolutely beautiful. I believe that's the super tunia fuchsia uh, from Proven Winter. So you can see how much they filled in. Um, yeah, everything's looking, the Ostrospermum is doing good. I've got some salvia in the front. So everything is just filling in beautifully. Um, whatever coleus this is, I feel like it just really is a stunner. So lots of beautiful color here in my front entry. And then I did pop a Super Tunia bubblegum on this side and you can see it's filled in beautifully. It's looking awesome and really, really nice. My, oh man, my archway is a little bit overgrown. You have to kind of duck to get under here. Let me see what else we have. Oh, we have another Super Tunia bubblegum. My um, daylilies are getting a little sun sunburnt, but look at the bubblegum. It's beautiful on that side. Here, just to show you a difference, this one gets a lot of sun. This one gets a lot of shade. Isn't that interesting just to see the difference on the two sides? I love this daylily. I'm not sure the name of it, but it's this beautiful peach color. And then um, I do think I'm starting to struggle with some budworms, so I need to get out here and do some uh, spraying, but everything is looking really good. And check out my planter. So I planted these topiaries up, um, like I said, in the spring, and I just love the way that they filled in. So I've got a sedum here that's just gorgeous. I've got a sweet potato vine and then the, the um, I don't know that those are actually super tunias. I think they're just petunias. I don't know that they're actually the brand um, name, but anyway, everything's looking so lush and pretty and I'm just really happy with the way the front, front entry has filled in this year. So here's going back out. Um, anyway, I just thought since I was out here, I would give you that quick update and I love the pops of pink and I think I'm gonna really enjoy this planter and yeah thanks for checking it out with me today okay yardeners that's going to be it for today's video just kind of a quick project i hope it motivates you to beautify your space with plants it really is such a fun and rewarding thing to watch these plants fill in and bring color and beauty to your space um, if you like the video please give it a subscribe and a like i have lots more videos on my channel and lots more to come and I hope you were able to get in your yard today. It's a fun place to be, and I'll see you next time. Bye.